to Chairman's Chats this week. I'm joined by Jamie Pompey. Hello, Jamie. How are you, mate? Well, good to see you. Good, how are good, you? good. Yeah, very good. Thank you. So we've not seen that much of you this season, have we? Because you've had quite a nasty injury. Yeah, so um, misjudged a catch in a 2020 Rob Milford, very low tracer bullet, late out of the trees. Saw it, lost it, saw it again, but for too late when I got my hand there, it smashed and broke my thumb. Oh, so um, yeah, very painful. So that was the main. Whose bowling was that off? I'm not sure if it was Baz, I can't remember. Oh, we'll ask Baz. He's but better remember. Baz. Yeah, he is better remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so that, that put me out for most of the season. Um, then when I did come back, um, had a good game in the field. Bowling wasn't great, but the field was the best I've fielded all season. I was really <laughs> happy with that. Um, but then I had holidays and other things that came in. Yeah, yeah. Never and got then, continuity back. Yeah, yeah, and then by the time when I came back, I think we only had one game um, to go because we didn't have many games in the end of the season. So yeah. just fell away with that. And these, the knees are okay. I can live with those. You know, yeah, as but, is. Yeah, so I will be. Did, did you enjoy running the academy this year? I love running the academy. What a great set of boys. Um, we've had new guy Jack come in, yes. Um, really good lad, really keen, um, to get involved, to play, always plays with a smile, polite, friendly. And then he's a lovely got, lad, he's isn't? a lovely lad. And then we've got Jazzy's younger brother, Akil, yeah, yeah. um, absolutely. Think he'll be a little star player. Yeah, he he play. bowled a bowled a final over in a twenty twenty game for us, and kept his nerve and won us the game. Absolutely brilliant for a young man lad like that coming through, and also again played with a smile on his face and the seat and be enjoying it. And I enjoy teaching him. Yeah, no, that's good. No, let's be fair. Um, that that's a real real good talent that with with the kill coming through. And you say, yeah. Jack Jack's also played, stepped up, and played four games. I think for exactly. the twos this year as well, yeah. which is. Yeah. Which is really nice. Nah. Um, so you can see the talent coming through. Yeah. What, what have you seen of Yogi's boy, Taddy? Well, I haven't seen a lot of him. Um, haven't Because obviously I haven't been around to play. But I've turned up a couple of times in the evenings and watched him. What I like with him is his braveness. He's not scared of the ball. No, he's not. I no. watched him in a game and a guy whacked the ball and he was close. Not too close, but close enough that it still come off. And he put his hand on it. Yeah, I know. And so he's, he's, he's great. It's great. just that braveness at that age, and he's not a big lad either. He's you know he's a small chap, um, but I think from what I've heard and what I've seen, he could be a could be a good talent for us to keep. And I'm from what I'm hearing on the grapevine that he's going to be playing more for us next year, which yeah. will be great for the club. I think he's going to play too next year. Yeah, yeah so, which will be great. Right. Yeah. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, how did you first get? into playing cricket then and how was your, what was your baptism if you like? My baptism was my dad so I was born October 75 and by May 76 I was at the cricket club with my dad, my mum, my two brothers and my sister um, and it just went from there every summer that's where we were yep. as a family from May to September various cricket grounds watching my dad play cricket was there um, other like kids there as well? Yeah, like we, that type we, of thing, isn't it? Yeah, you know? yeah, it was it was a um, comes a family, doesn't it? it? It was a massive family, like it is with us at Frimley now. Mm -hmm. You know, we had all the kids roughly the same sort of age. My oldest brother's seven years older. So we had people that were from seven years older than to me to my age and younger, but we all played together. And we were fortunate enough that at the club, because it was a rugby club as well, they had two big hot baths in there. <laughs> so in those days before HIV kicked yeah, in, that's yeah. what we used as swimming pools. Yeah, so they course. were separated by, um, <laughs> so you had two separate bits and we used to use them as slides as kids. So the kids would be in there and then we'd be in there with the fathers afterwards yeah. after the cricket. Yeah. And it was just so nice and they're still my friends now to this day. That's it's a friendship that we've, we've built over life, you know, from the age of you know, four or five that when you can remember. I'm still friends with him 40 years later. Yeah, that's great. And, it, you know, and that's what sport, for me, all sport, gives you that. Gives you a friendship and a bond for life. True. Very true. Very true. You also, keeping it in the family, also got son Ollie turn out. Uh, yeah. 
for a game this year for Dad's Army. Yes. Um, how proud were you that day? I was really proud that he stepped up. He's 13. He might look 16, but he's only 13. Um, yeah, I was very proud that he came out and played with me. Uh, meant a lot. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, absolutely meant he a lot. He got a wicket that day as well. He did, yeah, and he bowled well. He bowled very For someone well. that's never bowled before, apart from just playing street cricket, never bowled in a match, I thought he bowled extremely well for do his you, first time. Do you know who he got out? Do you remember? I can't, no. Alan Johnson. Was it Alan yeah, Johnson? Yeah, he hit wicket. Yes. He Alan pushed Johnson. Alan back, back yeah. on him, so Alan yes. Alan hit wicket. You had a good game as well. You took three for 16 that day. I don't know if you remember that. No. No. But to, to be honest with you, Rob, I bowled better in the 2020s than I did in league cricket. Yeah, it's funny though, it happens it's, like that, though, doesn't yeah, it, sometimes? Yeah. Uh, it was a great, it was a good game, those Dad's Army games as well, because it gets everybody <laughs> playing together. It's played in the right spirit, yeah. which is great for the children that are trying to get into the game and promotes a great ethos for them that it's not just about going out there in certain times, in certain games, playing for all your worth. It's about having that enjoyment, mm -hmm. and that's what that 2020 is. Yeah, it's about absolutely. just even though whoever we're playing that 2020, let's go out and enjoy it. It's not about the winning, the winning will come when you start to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, you won't put that extra 10% in. True, true. Also, Ollie, your boy, great footballer. I've seen his Ronaldo <laughs> free kit. I'm actually going to put this on in a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put it on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone can see it. What a free kit that was on that day. Yeah, he's not bad. He's not bad. Yeah. I've also got to mention your cameo this year with the bat. <laughs> Against the ladies. ones, <laughs> against the ones indeed. So pulled it out, thirty-two, yeah. of thirty-six balls, six yeah. fours. Did you feel good that day? Everything seemed to work, didn't it? Do you know what? To, looking back at it, I don't know if I felt great. I didn't didn't think, oh, this is my day. Um, I went out there and Tom was bowling, and I don't play spin. I don't have the patience for spin, and Harrison just. I don't know. I picked. I prefer pace. I don't. I, I don't have the pace. I know where it's roughly going to be. So and he came in and I just yeah just saw it from the word go and it was lovely. It just came off the middle of the bat. Um, worried Alan because he he brought Harrison back on. This is what Rosie told me. He brought Harrison back on to clean me up. Yeah, yeah. And it all went wrong. And even Rosie said to me in the game when one of the balls was lost, he said, "Mate, he goes, you're seeing it marvellously." He goes, "We weren't expecting that." He said, we thought Harrison was just going to come on. We, he said, Alan and I talked, get Harrison back on, he'll just clean him up. Pace, he'll clean him up. And he said, no. He said, you cleaned him up. <laughs> so he, he, he so just... next, next, next year, up the batting over there, yeah? <laughs> it was <laughs> one of those days. Back. I can yeah. do it, you know, and I suppose everyone can do it. It just, it was, yeah, it came off. Yeah. Well, that's where you, you get sometimes. Yeah, but as I said different. to Harrison, I knew what Harrison was bowling. I knew that he was. He, Harrison was two lengths. He's either going to be short or he's going to be full. Yeah. And that's what I said to him afterwards. I said, "That's your job then to work out that in between ball." Mm -hmm. I said, "You, you know, and it's what you learn with age and going forward." That I said, "I knew you're either going to be short because you can pitch it, you're your pace, or you're going to be full because you're going to be looking to take my stumps out." Yeah. So yeah. I set myself. I said to him, "I set myself back in the crease for a full ball and also for the short ball." True, true, absolutely. So you hold the title for being the first player to take a fiver for the club. Yes. Um, what do you remember, remember that, that day? day? Very well. You do, do you? I do remember that day. Yeah. It was five like, for twenty or five point five overs. Yeah, it was. Um, cost you a jug that day. Cost me a jug that day. Cost you to a a jug as well. No, to be yeah for the first time <laughs> with the club. Didn't you? Um, yeah. yeah. So if you don't mind, I'd like to talk about. I know we're doing that on another one. So. It was my first game for Frimley. We were playing Frimley threes at the recreation ground at Brookwood. Not a very good place to play cricket, I must hasten to add. And they were doing well. I came on to bowl and I know Matarza likes to hit out. So I thought, right, I'll just slow it down a bit. Slow it down, loop it up, see what happens on this track first. See what, see what it does, see if it comes off different pace or is it coming on quickly. And I soon realised that bowling just a little bit slower, it wasn't coming off the track as quick as the pace deliveries were. Mm -hmm. So I just thought, right, I'll just keep firing at his stumps. Just a nice pace, nice slow pace at his stumps and let him swing for one, mm -hmm. which he did, got him. 
and then it just went from there, which is what the opposition said to me afterwards, said, you just made the difference because, and it, I could hear them on the sideline saying, watch what he's doing. He's just slowing it down completely, bowling different, varying the line and lengths and pace. And that's what I did. Um, so good catches thrown in by the boys as well, which helps. Yeah, definitely. You've got yeah. to take the catches, which they did. Um, and it was a great day to come away playing with new people that I'd done it, just really sort of met. Yeah, that's um, good. Yeah. And baptism into the club, really. Baptism into the club. It was the first time I met you when I came back to the club. You were you were walking back into the bowl when I got to the club with Yogi. And we walked in and Yogi said, Oh, Rob, look, look, this is Jamie. This is the manager taking the first five with you <laughs> on for the club. <laughs> and it was nice. It was a great introduction to the club and everything else. Brilliant. No, brilliant. Know? It was... Uh... I'm normally just walking into the bar. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's normally where you, where you <laughs> We've walk noticed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so for you, what, what do you think has been the highlights of, of the season for the club this year? Definitely the ones. That, as we know, that was our goal. That was our main objective, to get the ones up. I don't think we envisaged that they were going to absolutely smash no. it the way they did. No. But that was our goal, and we yes. had to cheat as a club. I know it's for the ones, but it's not. It's for the club as a whole that I think it would do the club so much better now having the twos and the ones separated from Definitely. the same league. Yeah. So you played at Wavage Vandals for, for a lot of years, didn't you? A, a lot of years before yeah. coming to Phoenix. How did, how did the move come about then? Um, my wife had been asking me for years since we'd lived over here to play locally. Yeah. Um, because she, she, she could then come down with the kids and watch. She hadn't had a 40, hadn't had a 40 minute drive to yeah, yeah. come to Weybridge, which I understand. Um, I tried a couple of clubs, and one of them actually was Hawley Cricket Club. Oh, right. I'm but, too. Yeah, it didn't, just didn't work out for me with the people there. So I went back to Weybridge, and I just thought times are changing. My wife, my kids are getting older now. So. I started working at the local council with Yogi, worked working for Yogi, and he said he was playing cricket for this new club. Um, so I think I played you guys in a 2020 match for the council. You had, yeah, yeah, you had, that's true, yes. And it then sort of... You and Dom, I think Dom played that day as well. Dom did play that day, yeah. Dom had already played a bit more for you guys, I think, already. Um, so I think on that... I had a chat with Baz and Gary, and then obviously Yogi had a bigger chat with me and said, look, you know, just come along and see what, see what you think. I said, okay, so um, my first game was that Friendly Threes game where I took yeah. my pifer. Good Lord, it's and not it bad for your first game, is it? And I just thought, oh, these chaps are nice, really, really welcoming, really friendly. Um, so what would you say to anyone who's thinking of joining? Phoenix, Come and maybe not sure what to expect. To, to expect love, to expect <laughs> love and, and embrace, but all well, within reason. Within reason, <laughs> yeah. No, to 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 be welcomed in with, with welcoming arms, not to be you know, well that's the new person. Let's leave him over there. It's not done like that. The Phoenix, the new person comes in and gets brought in straight away to enjoy and come in. So they're not. Left as they feel as they left aside. No, true. It's you very know, welcoming. It, isn't it? It's very welcoming. You make to feel part <clears> of the family, which you become. Um, and I think it's it's got a great family feel to it. Mm -hmm. You know, most most games and all the other things that we do for the lads and the parents, um, the charity game we do when everyone yeah. gets dressed up. Yeah. But you look, everyone attends, and you think that now even with the women's softball. Oh, the, the, the men are getting interested and everything yeah. else. So it's it's become a whole family. It's not just the men going out. Even the women are coming down and watching. Yeah. And, you know, it's vice versa. And it's great. Really good. Good, good. That's good, good advice. Good advice. <laughs> um, so you were the first person to turn up with, obviously, <laughs> obviously Mr. Leo as well, yeah. for the Jolly Boys Tour. What did you enjoy about the Jolly Boys Tour? Everything. 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 <laughs> Absolutely everything. I thought it was A, great venue. It's great that you could have everyone under one roof. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, you've you've got everything I had everything there, everyone's under one roof. Um 
you didn't need for anything more really. No, the venue no. was fantastic, the people we went on tour with was fantastic, the cricket we played on the Saturday was fantastic. They were a good bunch of lads, weren't they? Good bunch of lads, yeah. Vale, it was a nice little ground, wasn't it, Bride Vale? Beautiful. Um, really yeah, beautiful the tour ground. was absolutely perfect in my opinion. But you, you know, won, you also won the Eagle Piggle Award. Do you want to talk to us through how you won the Eagle Piggle Award? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I might have drunk a bit too much shorts <laughs> with the boys. Had a bit of an early night, but came back later on in the evening, I believe. Yeah, I came back later on in the evening, yeah. I made a, a reoccurrence till three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was yeah. good. It was good. No, long, long after I'd gone to bed, I can assure you. <laughs> you missed the Christmas awards night, yeah. um, but the Christmas karaoke party is coming up on the 9th of December. What would be your Christmas karaoke song? Our Christmas karaoke song? Oh, God. Um, hmm. Well, you're going to have to get one. Going to have to get one. I don't know. I might have to do a Mariah Carey number, I think. All right, fair enough. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I should have thought about it, I? <laughs> it was obvious, really, wasn't it? <laughs> she can't believe you didn't get that one. No, no, no. no. So I was, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> so I've got some quick fire questions. What would be one. your um, Christmas song? I've got mine. I what is it? No, I'm not telling you yet. Oh, I'm not telling you yet. Come on, I'm working on it. Viewers, I'm thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up for Rob's song. Well, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, I've got some quick fire questions for you. Okay. So, uh, one day cricket or test match? Test match. Field at point or square leg? Uh, point. Generally back first or field? Back first. More likely to get out to Cam or Rohan? Rohan. Catch goes up, DHG or Henry underneath it? Henry. So if I was to ask you to put these three in order, uh, Botham, Stokes and Flintoff, what would you do? What order would that be? Ooh, that's a tough one, Rob. I would definitely, number one would Botham, because mm -hmm. he's my sporting hero. Yep. Then it would be Flintoff, then Stokes. Oh, Flintoff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. That's brilliant. Jamie, all I can say is thank you for your chairman's chats and thank come you, on, Mr. you Phoenix. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Come on, you Phoenix. <laughs>